What we have here is some, is some very thick, uh, very viscous Canadian oil sand that we're going, to, we're going to use to show how the technology will instantly and very thoroughly separate the oil from the sand, leaving a very clear demarcation point of oil, clear water, much cleaner sand. What I'm going to do is show you some pretty nasty stuff, open as you can see. Open your hand, huh? Okay, what we are doing now is we are taking some of this gloppy oil sand. Dropping it in. I was I would guesstimate that that's probably somewhere around 75 milliliters uh, of, of oil sand, roughly. What we are going to do now is we're going to take the technology, we're going to put enough in to saturate the oil sand. Now it's important to remember that in a real world application, this would be happening over a, a relatively long period of time. You would allow the you would allow the technology to mix thoroughly and soak with the oil sand for a long enough period of time to get a really good uh, maximum uh, uh, percentage of bonding sites because the technology readily bonds to the hydrocarbon and the hydrocarbon alone. But we're going to do it in kind of a real time to show just how fast and efficient the technology really is. So we're going to dump enough in to saturate, probably just a little bit more, see what, and then we're going to try to get it to auger it around a little bit in there to see if we can't get a little bit of contact on happening between the sand, the oil, and the technology. And you can see right away that it's that it's that it's breaking the oil down relatively quickly. And again, in a real world application, this is going to be over, you know, a period of a few hours of a good soak, or, or at least an hour of a good soak. Okay, what we have here is we have the, the oil sands that we just put in. We've mixed a small amount of technology in there to saturate. And, and now we are going to add some plain, ordinary, actually relatively cool drinking water to show you we do not need temperature, we do not need pressure, we do not need anything that's typically associated with this. The water is not necessary either. It is just used for the purposes of demonstration to show that there is a clear separation. enough water in there and you can see instantly you can see instantly a very clear and distinct line of oil a very clear and distinct amount of water and you can still see that oil is bubbling up out of the sands even still uh, and if I stir it around You'll, you'll see a lot more. Now, again, in a, in a normal application where this was going to sit for a, a period of time and be augered around for, you know, uh, maybe a, a half hour to an hour, you're going to get you're going to get a 90 plus percent removal of the oil on the first pass. You can already see you can see the oil bubbling up, coming away. 
you can already see the difference in the sand. This is already just a nice, pretty uniform gray now. Instead of that pitch, ugly black, you have a very distinctive line of oil, a very distinct line of water. The water does not contain any of the chemical in it. The chemical that, that was used for the separation is all in the oil. It is removed at about 100 degrees, fully reusable, water fully reusable. The sand probably would not need any further, any further uh, um, work to, uh, to be put down after a single application in many cases, but in, in some cases an additional application of the technology and you will have absolutely clean dirt on the bottom. But let's get a good a good visual of of that. As we took a portion of, of very heavy oil sand, we added just enough technology to, to mix with it and saturate it somewhat, and we stirred it for maybe a minute maximum which is well under the time that, that you would be doing in a real life situation. Then we poured in enough water to show the clear separation of the oil and then also importantly the cleanliness of the sand. If you look at how clean that sand is, it's pretty remarkable. That's because this technology is specifically designed to bond immediately and, and completely with the hydrogen atom and the hydrogen atom only, it will carry it away and then it will release its bond readily so that the technology can, can be evaporated off in an in a closed loop system, reused over and over again. The water that you see here is not necessary in the process. It, but if you do choose to use water to, in, within your process, that is clean water, it is, it is infinitely recyclable and reusable, eliminating, eliminating completely tail ponds. Additionally, no heat, zero heat was used in this process. No uh, carbon, carbon uh, footprint, no natural gas waste, no nothing. This all happens at, okay folks, now, now you can see the oil very clearly, you see the water very clearly, and you can absolutely see that that is pretty clean sand. I mean, that, that's very close to being uh, without necessary remediation to be put down on the ground again. In a real life uh, scenario, uh, an adequate time, you, you may very well on the first pass have sand that needs no remediation to replace down. If at worst case, a second, a second application will make the sand completely clean. Okay, what I'm gonna do, just, just so you can see, is I'm gonna pour off the oil and the water as, as well as I possibly can, standing out here in front of a, a rig, and then try to pour out and show you just how clean that sand is. This is going to be a little tricky because okay, that's it's actually cleaner than that because that pulled up the stuff on the side. Okay, that's that's the sand that's left now, and if you remember, this is what we started with. This is what we ended up with. It's actually a lot cleaner than that inside the bottle. It was hard to, to remove out of there. But you can see that that, that is just sand now. That it's important to remember that if you look at the sand from, from the bottom here, it, it's pretty darn clean. Uh, we didn't use any centrifugal force or anything else to pull the oil away. Uh, and unfortunately, trying to get it out of the jar, it. Uh, it removes some of the the residual oil off of the side of the jar. Where did my screwdriver go? Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna just put a little bit more PS uh, KBT1 into uh, the jar here and show you just what will happen with just another real quick application. A little bit of product in there. See if we can't get that sand mixed around a little bit here for a period of time. 
And remember, this is this is the sand that was left after the first pass of the product. And once again, we're not going to wait any period of time here. We're going to do this in real time, as you're seeing right now. I'm just stirring it for a second. Already, you can already see. Just, just right away, you can already see how clean the sand's getting. Okay, now again, for the purpose of the demonstration, what we're going to do is just ordinary drinking water. This is room temperature, nothing special. We'll show you a nice, clear. See the sand's the sand's going to make it real cloudy because it's so fine now. But look at look at that. Look at that. That is that is clean sand and that's the rest of the oil that was in it. And just in just literally a matter of seconds. No heat, no anything. Just technology and oil sand. This is gonna bring your cost of production down immeasurably. It will completely eliminate your negative impact on the environment. It will completely eliminate the vast oil uh, tail ponds that are polluting the water tables. It, it, it is unlike anything else on earth. Let me get that up to the, to the sun so you can really see that how clean that is. Okay, it's important to remember that we specifically did not set up this demonstration in a complex, lab-oriented manner. We did not set it up in a commercial manner where, we could, where a lot of manipulation takes place. We did this in the crudest possible, most straightforward way, sitting right out here in the middle of an oil patch to, in mason jars using nothing but technology and bottled water and a little, a little metal stir to show you the incredible efficacy of the uh, KBT-1 technology. What you're seeing up here, again, is a clean line of oil, which is the beautiful high-gravity uh, high sellable oil. You've got the nice clean water that is not, again, mandatory for, for the purposes of, of the separation. It's used for demonstration, but that also is reusable. And then you have sand remaining that does not need any further remediation. It is done. And it happened literally in a matter of... It's important to remember that the technology here is developed for anything where oil is involved. It is not specifically a technology for, uh, for the oil sand industry. It is used just as effectively down hole where, you, where you're typically using uh, high pressure and steam. You can eliminate that. It is, it is great for, ta uh, for uh, cleaning tanks and perforations uh, and, and removing the oil from shale as well. So it's got a vast number of potentials. It can, all, it can be used as effectively for remediation too. What we, just, what we just demonstrated for you to show how efficient, how cost effective, and how break, what a breakthrough technology we have uh, with the KBT-1. There is nothing else on earth that does what this product does in any way, shape, or form. It is patent pending, plain drinking water, Technology. Don't drink that one. Oil sands. And that's all what we would what we would like to do is have the opportunity to come up to your place at any time and show you right in front of you exactly the same demonstration using oil that you have pulled out of whatever area you like and show you the exact same effect has taken place. So we have not done anything to manipulate. There is no uh, smoke and mirrors here, no magic boxes, nothing has taken place. It's all right here in front of you, just as you see it, which is exactly what you will see when we come up to demonstrate it for you. Uh, please get a hold of us at any time, and uh, we can't wait to get, get up and show you just how special this technology is.